morning I said in my last video that I had a surprise and basically I've had a birthday and I received a gift that I really want to show you it was a gift that I really wasn't expecting so I knew that my brother was on his way around and he had texted me and said make some space and I thought what on earth has he got me I did not expect that it was another doll's house. Isn't it beautiful? It has a shop with it. So I thought I'd share it in this video. And of course, my cat features heavily in this video as well. So on the outside, the house looks brand new. It's still made out of wood. So it needs all of its walls decorating and the roof tiles doing. And on the inside, it looks like somebody has started to work on it. So it does have some wallpaper. It has some curtains. And it also has a huge box of accessories, which I will show you. I'm very excited about the shop. I have so many ideas for what sort of shop I'd like to do. Let me know in the comments what sort of shop you would do. The shop's a complete blank canvas, so I really could do anything with it. I'm not going to start working on this doll's house just yet, because I still have so much that I want to do on my Tudor doll's house. I will probably start this one in the summer, but for now it's got a position underneath my piano. And the little shop is just sitting on my piano. I don't play the piano, maybe one day I'll learn, but it does need tuning. It was my grandparents. I also have this doll's house up here that I've not really shown you much, but I bought that from the same recycling centre that I bought my Tudor doll's house from. So now, basically, my house is full of doll's houses and I'm not complaining. I'm so excited. I feel like I've got so many projects to work on in the summer. So this doll's house came with all of these accessories. So I sat down with my mum and we went through them all. My brother and his wife told me that they got the doll's house from a local charity shop and that they'd seen it kind of being put out on display and as soon as they saw it they decided that it was destined for me. And I'm so grateful, so thank you so much to my brother and my sister-in-law. So I sat and sorted through all of these bits. They're not all in the style that I would choose, but I'm going to keep them for now. Have a little think about whether there's any that I'd like to keep, or which ones I'd like to repurpose. Or actually, some of them I may give to charity and let them have a new home where they'll be really loved. At first, I thought that this set of furniture was a garden set of furniture. I once made my mum a greenhouse, like a miniature greenhouse and we thought that actually these would look quite good with that. But as we took things out of the box we found some more pieces that were in a similar style that looked like indoor pieces of furniture which I will show you soon. So one had a little mirror on it like a dressing table. There was also this grandfather clock and a fireplace. You may be able to hear my cat purring right now. She sat on my knee as I record this and she's very, very happy. So as you can see, this bed was in the same style as the furniture that I would thought was the garden furniture. I thought this little cushion was absolutely adorable. I think it's probably Hanson. It's got Peter Rabbit on it. I was wondering whether I might make the shop into a little gift shop and it could have a Peter Rabbit section. I thought that would be really cute. Here's the till that goes with the shop. As I unpacked this bag, at first I wasn't sure what the pieces were. So I wondered if these were some shelves maybe. But then we quickly worked out that we think they were counters for the shop.
And then as I emptied more out of the bag, I found this little stand that had chocolate bars on it. So I think this shop maybe was like a newsagent's um, or a little corner shop. I found these little crates. I thought they'd be good with vegetables in them. And then we found some sacks. And I'm thinking I might put these into my Tudor doll's house to go with the sacks that I made. Actually, correction, the sacks that my mum made. <laughs> Thanks, mum. That little red item is a crate for Coca-Cola bottles. And the two things in my hand there are two metal signs. Sort of like adverts, advertising posters. How lovely is this miniature plate of cheese? That could go into the um, Tudor Doll's house as well. I don't think this Rice Krispies box would go well in the Tudor Doll's house. <laughs> the bread would go into the Tudor Doll's house though. I know it's not really clear in this video, but I just put down next to the bread a tiny little bowl of eggs. And they look absolutely perfect, they really do look like eggs. And then there's two bottles, I found a little tray for my till. And that was not everything. So I packed these away and moved them to one side. Because the box behind my cat there was still so full. So on to this next bag. There was a real mixture of items in this bag. So there's a little sweeping brush, a welcome doormat, and some little teacups and a teapot. There were also some cakes. So I'd handed my mum a little strawberry cake there. And there was some furniture for a little nursery, I think, or a child's bedroom. And I found another Peter Rabbit cushion, so I put that with the first one. So after unpacking this selection, I then moved on to the next items in the box and I found this bathtub and a sink and a little hat stand or coat stand. There was a miniature high chair. I feel like the cat was just watching hoping that this box would empty more quickly so that she could climb into it. She loves sitting in a box. I found the little metal oven. Oh, I've just edited that really badly. I'm so sorry. I showed you the little oven for a second and then it disappeared. But it's quite a heavy metal oven. This looked like a dressing table, but in the same style as the furniture that I thought was for the outside. There was a lamp. And then there was this set of wooden furniture. There was so much in this box. There was another sink. And this little unit. You can see that my table is really filling up here and the furniture for the, sort of the garden furniture is at the back of the table. I think I completely filled my dining room table. I really like the wooden unit at the back there. I feel like that might go into my shop. So there were also these rugs. This one's lovely. I know that you can't really see the quality on the video, but the stitching on it's beautiful. Um, we had a little look at the company that it come from. Um, honestly, it's made so nicely. There's also a runner. 
and there was this cap, well this rug, not carpet, a rug, and there was a rug that I'm about to put on the table here, this one, that had little roses on it that looked like the Tudor roses, so I'm going to have a little research and see if they had rugs like this in the Tudor era, otherwise I might use it as a wall tapestry in my doll's house, in my Tudor doll's house. And then there's one really special thing left to show you. So this little gift bag was actually from my mum. And inside it was handmade, well two handmade gifts. So my mum had previously made me ratty and mole for my doll's house. And she's now made me badger. Isn't he lovely? I'm thinking maybe he should live in my new doll's house. And then based on my Tudor paintings, Mum's made me the um, well. I, I don't know. She. I don't know what she is. The, Mrs. Ratty, Mrs. Mouse. I don't know who she is. We need to decide. Isn't she beautiful? So Mum made her based on my painting. She looked at the little, um, the little outfit that she had in my painting, and she sewed her. And she's just beautiful. She's amazing. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know in the comments what sort of interior should I do in my new doll's house. I'm very excited to make a start but I'll probably start in the summer. So thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like to keep watching more videos and I'll see you next Wednesday.